Hello everyone, this is Miranda Joy here, and this is certainly not my normal content. I'm actually making this video to pose a question, actually. Um, long story short, I'm getting ready to start a bioactive terrarium for a very special reptile that's going to be joining my family soon. And I've been wanting, in order to do bioactive terrariums, you have to have uh, microfauna in your soil. Or, I guess technically it's macrofauna if you talk about it from a soil's perspective. So that would be, um, that would be isopods, that would be springtails. Oh, I'm sorry, it's so blurry. It's the light, lighting conditions, I'm shining a flashlight down in here. Ooh, focus, please. Focus, there we go. Um, so that would be isopods and springtails. Um, and I am about to purchase the springtails, but right now, isopods are just, like, unavailable. Like, I can't find any for sale in the, online during this season, and it could just because it's, it's a seasonal thing. But everybody seems to be sold out. But the thing is, I have wild isopods that are in my potted plants all the time. So I went outside today and I picked up these little guys. I'm pretty sure they're wood louse. I'm going to have to be careful and check on the species. But let's see if we can get a better look at them. I might have to pull one out and show you on my hand. Here's a, look, a close look at one of them. Don't fall. It's hard to do this one-handed. Here you go, buddy. So this is what I've got. I've got 25 of these little guys. Kind of cute. Tickle too. Hmm. Back in we go. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are wood louse, and I would like to try to culture these guys to the point that I can use them in my terrarium. This might take some time um, to breed out um, a new generation so that I know it's safe. I don't really know what the risks would be. Um, this particular reptile I'm getting is not one that would actually eat the, the wood louse, so I don't know, um, I don't know if it would be safe just to go ahead and put them in there. I don't know what the risks are. So I kind of wanted to reach out to the bioactive community and ask this question. Is it safe for me to put these wild caught isopods in my terrarium when they're not going there's not going to be any risk of the animal eating them um what are you guys' thoughts oh look they're so cute they're scurrying around all right so i just put some potting soil in there the soil that i put in there is um it's just what i had available it's succulent and cactus soil um it's organic there's no fertilizers or or um pesticides in there um it's got humus and yeah, sorry, humus, and um, I can't remember what else is in there, but it was all stuff that I remember was safe. Um, and then I chopped up some potato. I thought that might be something that isopods would eat. And then there's a piece of cardboard to act as cover and a surface for laying eggs on. And this is just a coffee tin. So um, I would love some advice on this. This is not my normal type of content. This is definitely not a polished video, but I just wanted some advice. So uh, leave your comments down below, and I will really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.